It is on that storage tank fire in Deer Park. All school districts in the area planning to resume classes tomorrow after a week of closures due to those burning chemicals. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live from Deer Park tonight with the latest on this story. Brittany? And Sion, after speaking with Harris County Emergency Management, Deer Park ISD notified parents around 8 o'clock tonight that students would be heading back to class. Now, we did find out the district has done some preparations inside of the schools ahead of this, but some parents told me they still have their concerns. It's been a lot of late nights, early mornings, not knowing what's happening and not knowing what's going on. Seven days after a raging fire ignited at ITC storage facility in Deer Park, Stephanie Bounds and her family finally decided to come home. She says the smoke and smell was too much to bear. It was a lot for us that we actually left town. It wasn't worth sticking around to be so unsure to not know what was happening. As a parent and a teacher, she says she played the waiting game again on Sunday as surrounding school districts conference with Harris County Emergency Management. Deer Park, LaPorte, Pasadena and HISD all made the decision to resume classes and head back to school on Monday morning. According to Deer Park ISD, crews replaced air filters at the school, washed down playground equipment and air systems will also be activated to cycle air in the building. Solid as a precautionary measure. And even though the students will head back to class, worry still hangs in the air. Investigators say nine toxins were detected from water samples after chemicals from the facility leaked into the Houston Ship Channel when a dike wall collapsed. According to the Coast Guard, there's still no timeline to the cleanup. We have to be very calculated and very methodical, you know, yet aggressive in the product removal steps because that's our objective is to get the product out of the tank farm and get the tank farm containment clean. It's just a constant unknown. It's very, it's kind of scary, kind of, I don't like being uneasy and not knowing what's gonna happen. It now, according to Deer Park ISD officials, classes tomorrow will all begin at regularly scheduled times. We're live here in Deer Park. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you. you can